Welcome to In The News with Double Odess. I'm Des Bernardo, giving you my perspective on news from South Africa and the rest of the world. In the news now, something that I think all of you will find interesting, and that is that it looks like FITA are trying to make good on the mess that they made in the High Court. And the headline that's in Finance 24 says that the tobacco group lodges leave to appeal ruling that kept cigarettes banned. And it's, it's interesting that um, this is happening and I will certainly be following this and giving you feedback because they were dismissed with cost, which means they had to fork out all the costs for the court case. So the fact that they're willing to appeal this now means that they probably have another angle that they want to use and that they believe they have good prospect for appeal. Otherwise, they'd be, be wasting their money or this is them trying to make good on their failure in the first place. It says that the Fair Trade in Independent Tobacco Association has lodged an application for leave to appeal a court ruling that has missed its challenge to overturn the state's ban on the sale of cigarettes. Its application was submitted in the High Court in Pretoria on Friday, that's today. Last month, the same court dismissed FITA's initial challenge to overturn the ban on the sale of tobacco and cigarettes. These have been banned since the start of the lockdown in late March. Cigarette companies have argued that the ban led to hundreds of millions of rands in lost sales while contributing to the growth, growth of an illicit tobacco trade market. Now, like I said before, what they should have done is had a constitutional rights argument, which is not what happened. The state has defended the ban as necessary for health reasons. In its application for leave to appeal, FITA argues that the court made a number of errors in its reading of the Disaster Management Act, among other points. So they can't use a different attack in the appeal hearing. They're going to have to fight this on technicalities. And if they have proper reason to believe that the court made a mistake with the Disaster Management Act, and I think they did have some misunderstandings, then there is a prospect that they will be granted leave to appeal, in which case uh, an appeal court case will actually start. This could all just be a major distraction or this could be them trying to come good. Whether something will happen or not, I have no idea. Currently, it's not illegal to sell cigarettes. The only thing stopping cigarettes from being sold is the shops deciding not to sell it if they're not selling it. I know I've received messages that many smaller shops have started selling cigarettes all over the country and charging a fortune for it, which is unfortunate. So I think at this stage, this is a very complex situation. And I think many smokers are highly frustrated with the state of affairs. Because at the end of the day, you still need a supplier to supply you with cigarettes, even, uh, even when it is not illegal to sell. If someone doesn't sell to you, if you don't grow your own tobacco, or you're not able to make your own cigarettes, uh, you're basically stuck. And the other problem is that the shops that are selling cigarettes now, and as I've confirmed that they are, they are charging a lot. Uh, someone told me as much as 60 Rand for a packet of cigarettes. So, you know, I'm not very familiar with cigarette prices, but you should know whether that is too much. Uh, I don't know what they cost before. The person used the value of 20 Rand. So, at this stage, you can complain to the person supplying you, complain that they're not supplying you with cigarettes and complain about the price. This is what supply and demand is. And obviously the more shops that open up supply to supply cigarettes, the, the more the competition would be. And while the competition is high, people are going to try and rip you off. And that is sad, that is horrible. And you need to remember that in future when you actually want to buy from those places. And I will keep you up to date with regards to this appeal hearing. I'm not sure what their prospects are at this stage, so I will keep you posted. Thank you very much.